Okay, when we're asked to find the area of a kite, we need to use the area of a kite formula, which is one half the product of the diagonals. So D1 times some other diagonal, D2. Okay, now just to be clear, a diagonal goes from one corner all the way over to the other corner. So this would be a diagonal length, and this would be the other diagonal length. Okay, now we don't know what either one of those are, but we know enough to figure it out. Because the diagonals of a kite are perpendicular, so we can use our buddy Pythagoras to figure both of these out. So from our first right triangle, which is called ADE, we know that 5 squared plus x squared equals 13 squared. Okay, so doing this down, we get x equals 12. So this much is now 12, which means this down here is also 12 because it's a kite and that gets bisected. Okay, so now moving on to y, I can use Pythagoras now and say 12 squared plus y squared equals 37 squared. And solving this for y gives me a side length of 35. So I have to use Pythagoras twice in order to figure out what my missing lengths for my diagonal are. Now that I know those, one diagonal is 12. Ooh, where am I going to go? Here we go. Ooh, that's not what I want. There we go. 12, and the other diagonal is, let's see, 5 and 35 is 40. Don't forget about the 1 half. I've made that mistake before. So now when we do 1 half of 12 times 40, we get an area of, let's see, 12 times 40 is, there it is, 480 square units for the area of that kite. Voila.